Hey guys, so this was my first jiu-jitsu competition ever. This is Grappling Industries at Wisconsin Dells in 2023 of November. And uh, this was actually my first match in the blue belt division. So I had done absolutely right before this, but now I got to do blue belt. Let's dive in. So real quick, you'll notice I'm in the center of the mat here. This is super important in wrestling and jujitsu because if you're in the center of the mat, it looks like you are being active and you're not stalling out here on the edge. So if it ever comes to like a judge's decision or in wrestling, you're trying to earn a stalling call and you're trying to push the action, control the center of the space. There's also some psychology here too. It's like the person who's in the center is being a bit more dominant than the other. So there's all sorts of mental games uh, that are being played when you control the center here. Other thing you'll notice is neither of us is forcing anything. So we're trying to look for good ties like underhooks or double unders and stuff like that. But, you know, if it's not there, we're like, all right, let me back off a little bit. I don't need to go for this yet. Um, and that's sometimes that's part of the feeling out process at the start of a match. You know, first 30, 40 seconds, you're just trying to see what the other guys got, maybe testing their strength, things like that. But when the opportunity arises, you got to go and you got to commit 100% because if you hesitate, that's when like maybe you shoot for a leg, you hesitate, he sprawls on you. Now you're in the front headlock position. And you're like, crap, now I got to worry about getting choked out. So once, uh, you know, you identify a spot to go for a takedown, go for it, 100%. And even if you don't get it, you'll learn from it. So you'll see me go for it here shortly. So right there, I caught the underhook on the right side, went to a, a double leg, and popped my head out on that left side, right to side control here. This is why I love wrestling for jiu-jitsu, because you can get to awesome positions without having to deal with their guard. Now, this is kind of the hidden battle going on here that you guys might not be able to see because of the angle of the video. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep side control. So I want to keep both of my legs all the way out to the side here and keep good pressure on him. But what he's trying to do is sneak one of his knees, so that near knee that's closest to me, inside here, and then catch one of my legs so that he can get me in a half guard. And the reason I don't want that is because it slows me down. It allows him to start to work and try to transition more into a guard or to get me completely off of him and then focus on his game instead of being on the defensive end. So I can't really get to my offense until I clear that leg that keeps trying to come in. And right there you see he did an awesome job. He got it all the way back in. Now I'm we're almost in like an open guard sort of thing. But what I love about this position is that a lot of times guys keep their legs really close. So just like a double leg in wrestling, you can actually pinch their legs together with uh, keeping your elbows tight and then go back around to side control. There it is. Notice I have both of his legs here. My legs are both almost on the side here. And now I don't have to worry about that guard again, at least for now. Oh 
So right here, I had completely cleared the legs. Everything was all good. I was chilling. He couldn't really do much. Notice, though, I tried to go into mount in a very crappy way, and he was probably baiting it. And as my leg comes across, he catches my ankle here with his foot, and now he's going to bring it back into half guard again. So now I'm back here in half guard, and I need to get this knee out or this leg out so that I can start to work my game, apply pressure, and get the submission. Now, one thing I have a habit of doing is I like to always put my arm over their head here when I'm in a good controlled position and just make it look like I'm going for something because when I do that, they start to think about hooking my leg on the bottom a bit less and they start thinking about, oh crap, this guy is going to you know, go for some sort of submission here and um, it gets them scared and when they start doing that, maybe they try to turtle up uh, or go to some sort of position that I actually prefer because I like to wrestle and scramble. So you can see he's kind of turning to a side now. This is actually what I want. So he stops hooking my leg and keeping me in there. And you see, just by attacking the head, I was able to eventually get my leg out. I don't necessarily recommend attacking the head all the time when you're in half guard, uh, but I think against some guys, it could open it up and allow you to get your leg out. Uh, but there are definitely more technical ways to work on just getting your leg out first and then attacking the head. So one of those technical things you can do to get your leg out is, I don't know if you guys noticed, but what I was doing is basically slowly inching my foot in here by just, um, what, what do we call it? Using my toes to pull it in and then go into a heel and then toe and then heel. And as I slowly walk it in like that and I keep my knee pointed to the ceiling, it gets easier and easier to start to get this knee out. And uh, eventually I can even bring it over to the other side sometimes if they keep their legs down. Now, I was in a good spot when I was inching my foot in, but then I kind of just bailed on it. Now, one of the worst spots you could possibly be in is if you try to go to turtle, but you stay flat, kind of like he is, and then the guy takes your back, because as I take your back, especially as a wrestler, I can get my hooks in, hip in, and you are just glued to the mat while I just have basically free reign over your head, and I can try to choke you. So you'll see that here in a second. Get 
Now, I didn't have the killer instinct there to really put on the rear naked choke there, but he also did an awesome job of clearing one of my hooks. Now he's back down to his side, and now he doesn't have to worry about me just hipping in and gluing him to the mat. But since he has my leg hooked in here still, this is actually to my advantage because now I can just gift wrap him, catch this arm here, and now take his back again. Try to get that arm free and get your shoulders to the ground. So rather than just staying on the back and trying to get the rear naked choke there, I was like, you know what? There's like 20 seconds left. Let me try to get on top. Just get an arm triangle and just juice it and see if I could get him. But he has my foot hooked again. So I really just was not in a good spot to finish this. So short time here, just trying to finish on top and, and work for something. So that's it guys, um, kind of a boring match, but really important takeaways from this is when you go for a wrestling attack, 100% commit to it. You saw I went for mine, got right to side control, no hesitation. And then the second thing is really work on techniques to get out of half guard, especially if they catch your leg and they put you there while you're already in side control. So that's something I've worked on a lot since this tournament. So this was 2023 November. It's now 2024, uh, August, August 1st, and I worked a lot on this. So now I don't fall for the, the bait or take the bait and let them catch my leg and put me in half guard. I have all sorts of techniques to, to sneak it out and make sure I stay in a good controlled position. So that's it, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.